Look at this long tube which connects the mouth and the stomach. This organ is called the esophagus. It consists of a muscular tube which is 25 centimeters long. If we look at it closely, esophagus is adjacent to trachea. These two canals are connected at different places and with different processes. The food must go to the esophagus and the air must go to the trachea. To prevent going into the other location, the epiglottis controls the entrance. The air that comes from the nose continues on to the trachea. When we swallow the food that comes into our mouth, the food pushes the epiglottis, so it closes the trachea and the food can flow to the esophagus.